This customization is a simple VPN that runs off of the driver seat to inventory process. Um, in standard Epicor, there is an option to auto receive on operation. Now, what that would mean is that whenever you enter um, labor quantities against this operation, that it would automatically do the receipt transaction. Unfortunately, they don't have the inverse of that, where if you instead did driver seat to inventory, that it automatically creates the labor. And because labor is responsible for things like back flushing, um, that can be a problem. So all that we did to do that is made up a BPM that hangs off of the um, receipts from manufacturing, receive manufacturing part to inventory uh, method set up for the pre-processing. And anytime that occurs, we simply call a BPM that automatically does the labor for you. Um, the whole process, uh, it will automatically figure out the hours um, based off of standards. It, it figures out the cost based off of uh, what was set up for that resource. So to do it, all we do is I'm going to come in here and we get in our, our job, we get in our quantity, we hit OK here. And we wouldn't know it, but behind the scenes, a um, the job receipt inventory has occurred, but then also we have adjusted it in some labor. So if we look at this particular job, there are manufacturing receipts. I can see my two that I just added. I did a five earlier on in the day. And if I go to the operation now, I will also see a uh, labor quantity of two listed in here as well. Um, I didn't have any standards filled in on this job, so I'm, uh, I don't have hours or anything like that filled in currently. But um, that is uh, how this BPM operates. So you guys a simple little BPM, um, currently written for Epicor 905, but because it's a BPM, it should be um, pretty well compatible with uh, most versions for backwards or forward.